Today's tutorial is on creating a gradient. The picture here isn't a finished product because there is no top coat, and I'll explain that a little bit later on in the video. Beginning with a base coat of your lightest color, you're going to prep your nail. I like to work with cuticle oil to protect my cuticle and my skin from polish and acetone, and it also helps with the cleanup. You can use tape. There's a nifty new product out there called Nail Bibs. Really, it's whatever your preference is. Just using a regular makeup wedge, I've cut mine in half for a more manageable size, as well they make my makeup sponges last a lot longer. Apply a generous amount of polish to your makeup sponge, going from light to dark, and just overlap the colors slightly. This will help with the blended look. It's important to apply fresh polish to your sponge every time you dab your sponge onto your nail, otherwise you'll leave pieces of sponge behind. If you find you are leaving pieces of makeup sponge behind on your nail, you may not be adding enough polish, or it might be time to start with a fresh sponge. I like to just cut off the used portion of my sponge and um, continue using the same wedge. Once you've applied the polish to your sponge, you're going to dab that onto your nail and just cover your nail fully. It doesn't have to be perfect because you are going to build this up in layers. Once you're happy, go in and clean up your cuticle and skin with a nail art brush and acetone. I do this in between each application of makeup sponge and gradient because I find the polish a lot easier to clean up while it's still damp. Depending on the colors you're using and whether or not you're adding nail art, you'll like need to add two or three levels of gradient to your nail. Now for this design I only add the gradient sponge to my nail twice because I am putting nail art on top of this. I'm actually adding a glitter from ND Lacquers and you can check out my Instagram to see the final picture. And here I'm adding my second coat. I've made sure everything's dry fully and I've applied all fresh polish to my makeup sponge. When everything's said and done, apply a top coat and it will really smooth out your design. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you liked the video. Please comment, share, subscribe, and thumbs up are always appreciated.